Hey guys, welcome to today's 1.6 Galaxies video. Today we are going to be taking a look at TMS 36, that being the 1.6 scale Scarlet Witch from WandaVision. Um, so I ordered this from Toys Buying Agent and I've had it about a week. Um, just haven't gotten around to um, doing this video because um, illness was kind of lingering a bit. Um, so I decided to put it off until I was feeling better. Um, so as I said, this is from Toys Buying Agent. Um, hopefully the Australian allocation of this item isn't too far away. We are looking at um, the icon updates. There hasn't been anything as of yet. As we are in the middle of the month, we're expecting something in the next two weeks or um, three weeks max. I very, very doubt um, it will be as late as a mid-September batch, uh, but stranger things have happened. So just keep an eye on our announcements and things like that, and we'll see how we go. Um, I picked this up for just under 400 AUD. So Pop Culture's pre-order price is 377 if you do want to get that extra discount and wait a while. Um, Sergo Toys had this uh, for 410 in stock. Um, I paid uh, less than that. Um, I think it was about 390 or something. Um, so yeah, it wasn't um too bad uh if you're looking to pay closer to the 380 um and you don't want to use any pay in for methods or anything um the amazon japan um store actually does have this in stock uh you will have to pay for postage though because um we don't get prime across multiple countries um, and she's not showing up on the Australian store, unfortunately. So um, I did check that out. It was about 340 with uh, $40 postage. So bang on that, that pop um, price. We do know that the Amazon um, Japan store is uh, quite reliable, as I've gotten a couple of figures from there now, if there being zero issues. Um, but nonetheless, I just figured I would go with the toys buying agent over the Amazon Japan, uh, just because I wasn't too fast on the slight price difference. All right, let's get into this video. Um, so we can see that the box features a very nice pattern and an awesome picture of Elizabeth Olsen as the Scarlet Witch there. Um, not our actual figure, and it's uh, one division there. The Scarlet Witch, and then we have our information telling us that it's um, TMS 36 and the 1-6 scale clickable figure of Hot Toys. Um, the pattern does continue on both sides of the box, and it does have our um, Scarlet Witch logo, and the slipcover does lift off uh, if you want to see the logo style um, box, but we're not really going to worry about any of those. Alright, looking at our accessories. Um, I will say I have actually switched out the two relaxed hands um, that were on the figure. So that's the only real change I've made um, to the item. Uh, so it's just um, keep that in mind. So we do get um, these magic uh, gesturing hands done in a really, really nice, um, supposed to, I suppose, look like latex of some sort, maybe, um, but either way, the, um, gloves look amazing, they are obviously plastic, but, um, yeah, they are obviously sculpted plastic, but they absolutely... Uh, look the parts so you can see the scaling pattern on the um, gloves there it's just really nice um, there's the other side so you do get a right and left um, one of those for doing the spells you can see the black um, pattern on the inside there as well uh, really very nice um, as I did mention before you do get the relaxed hands that are on the figure so again, um, all the majority of the hands are done in that wrap. That textured um, inside. So the nails and stuff are fine as well. Um, so you also do get these um, magic hands, which are really quite cool as well. Um, so they are illuminated. 
Uh, so you can see that I do have that same pattern, uh, but because um, she's using her magic, that wrap has faded in. Um, this is really cool, and she does have LEDs um, in the wrists this time, so um, we will showcase that off a little bit later too. Um, so we do get those, and then we do get two um, kind of more relaxed hands uh, in the red as well. That's what I've replaced and put on the figure already. Um, we do also get these two um, magic effects. So there is one um, there is one for the left and right hand. So you can see this one. Um, the instructions do tell you how you can um, slide it through the hand and make it look like she's holding them. And then we have this one here, slightly different. Uh, so you can't get them mixed up, which is quite nice. <coughs> um, she, of course, uh, has the dark hold. So it's the main selling point for this item. Uh, so we can see that there are some pages that have been... Actually, yeah, so there's some different pages in the middle there. Uh, but most of them are the reuse single page there um, that you're going to see a few times throughout. And then you have the uh, back cover as well. Um, but again, really, really nicely detailed. Um, the fact it opens is quite nice. And the fact there are so many pages, even if some of them are reused, um, is still quite nice. Um, the second tray is going to have her cape uh, and display stand. Um, I already have the cape on the figure, so we will show that um, in a moment. Uh, and she is already on the display stand. Uh, so you can see we have the WandaVision um, logo there, and then the WandaVision there, and then of course it says um, that it is the Scarlet Witch. Um, so there is that, and it is of course a dynamic flight stand, so do be mindful of that. Um, there is the opportunity, if you have a dark light, to um, illuminate her eyes. I don't have that, so I couldn't see that effect, uh, but apparently it is quite nice. So there's um, something there as well. All right, let's focus in on her. Okay, so um, we can obviously see the Scarlet Witch crown um, and the sculpt. I think uh, for the most part, it is a pretty good sculpt and it definitely looks like her. Keep in mind that she is elevated at the moment, but definitely um, from those angles there, you can definitely tell that it's Elizabeth Olsen as the Scarlet Witch. Um, we can see the reds on the outfit. Um, as per usual, I think uh, bending the arms is going to probably have some detrimental effect on the um, arm wraps. There's also switches on the arm wraps. Um, I would refrain from using your nail to just kind of turn the um, switch on from underneath the arm wrap, uh, just because I think that that might potentially put a hole through it, but um, I would probably just do it once or twice maybe, and then I would probably replace the hand and the arm wrap. It can get a quick, a bit annoying, um, but yeah, I just definitely don't want anyone to go um, hurting their figure. Um, but yeah, so you can see that that pattern on the pants there, the belt, um, the boots. This is definitely a really, uh, really cool outfit and I dig it. Um, sorry, I'm getting a lot of interference from the lights there. Um, so, the side profile is going to be fine. Um, so you can see, like saying, those illuminated um, hand effects. So, it does show you how to um, connect the magic up with it. 
And of course, you can see the textured, um, I moved the cape out of the way. Um, you can see the textured skirt that she has as well, um, and the belt there. So it's really, really quite a nicely done, uh, really detailed outfit. Um, we'll see if we can show off this cape. So you can see that the hair from the back is very nicely detailed. Um, then of course we can see her cape. Um, because of the way the dynamic stand is, you are going to have the back of the cape catch the stand. So from the back, it's not that nice. Um, you can probably futz around with it. I've just re done something really quick there just for the purpose of filming this video. Um, but you can probably fix it up. Um, do keep in mind that you probably want to try and avoid um, there is a wire in there. Um, you probably do want to try and avoid damaging um, figure with the waist stand anyway. So I know a lot of people don't like using these dynamic stands. Um, it would have been nice to have been given the option, but we don't really get that. So there's that scaled um, skirt, as you can see, that other illuminated hand, showing that you do get a right and left one. And then we are back um, to the front. So you can like I said, the shoulder armor there. We'll see if we can, how much of the details we can get in there. So it's saying there's the belt, the skirt, pants, and then the pattern that runs all the way down to the boots. Um, so there is a lot uh, going on with her and I really um, do like it. So as I said, don't uh, do this too much, but if you do run your hand over the hand wrap, you are going to be able to feel, for the most part, um, where the switch is. And then the hand um, is going to illuminate. So, obviously being on camera, um, it's going to look a bit... Um, weirder because uh, we are going to get the um, we are going to get the LED um, point um, this isn't how it's supposed to go I'm just trying to uh, show you but when you do connect the magic um, the LED does run through the magic pretty well um, so we'll just zoom out and I'll turn off the light box for a sec um, so we can see that she does illuminate the piece quite well. Um, if you position it the way you're supposed to, um, you do get more of the LED running through it. But um, I think it is just a nice touch. And um, both arms are illuminated, just to show that. So it is both hands there. Um, so it's really quite nice. So you can choose to have um, her holding the dark hold in a illuminated hand rather than a um, not illuminated hand but obviously they are meant to go with the magic um, and yeah the instruct like I said the instructions uh, do tell you how to um, do that um, and it's just a matter of flicking the switches forward um, like I said the instructions do tell you to replace uh, the hand and the hand wraps every time you do it um, As just demonstrated you can obviously just do it like that But I reckon if you do it too many times uh, you will probably wear a hole um, In those hand wraps, so I probably wouldn't um, Overall, I don't think there's going to be too many issues with this figure. Uh, like I said, my main concern would definitely be um, Any damage coming from the waist holder and then any damage coming from um, having the arms bent uh, in the hand wraps for a prolonged time um, and if you bend the knees or anything I'd say you're probably going to get uh, that as well but overall I think it's going to be a really nice figure um, it kind of does annoy me uh, that they the multiverse of mad madness costume and the WandaVision costume are obviously so close because she wasn't Scarlet Witch for too much of WandaVision but um Hopefully, um, it's going. I reckon it's going to really complement um, when the multiverse of madness one comes out, and you are going to have the different faces and then the candles and everything. But um, 
it was a real toss up uh, whether we get this now or just get the multiverse of madness one. But when I saw that the skirt was different and the cape, um, they were all t they're more battle damaged uh, in the multi multiverse of madness one, I figured, well, we'll have a clean version. And if I choose to use the battle uh, damage version, we'll go from there. But yeah, I do really want to grab that um, deluxe stand with the candles and everything because I reckon it's going to look so good um, paired with either uh, Scarlet Witch. But I just like the clean, non damaged look of this one. Anyway, guys, hopefully you found this information um, helpful and hopefully you get your Scarlet Witch soon, um, depending on which vendor or retailer you've gone with. Thanks for watching.